Okay, I retouching. Now that we've created all these nice little layers to work on, uh, and if you use the action that I was talking to you about in the previous lesson, you would have actually been doing your retouching as the action was playing. But right now, uh, I'm going to go in and show you how to use each of the tools I provided you and all the things that you need to do to really make eyes look fantastic. So we have this group here called Eyes Retouched. And I'm going to open up this layer group, go down to the very bottom of the grouping, and start from the bottom and work my way up. OK, the first layer down here is called Clean Up. And I'm going to click on the pixel part of the layer, which is the little checkerboard section right over here. And I'm going to go over here to the clone, clone tool. And I'm going to go in, and I'm actually going to just clean up any yucky, nasty spots that I don't want to be in this eye. Like, I'm going to get rid of this red vein right here. And I'm actually, I'm using my clone tool with the opacity set to 50%. I'm going to have, a, I have aligned checked. And I have sample current and below right now because this is a blank layer. And I want to actually have it um, sampling from, from the image below it so that I have all the clone, cloning part on one layer. So just getting rid of anything that looks yucky, nasty. Okay, uh, the, the actual redness color that you see here, we're going to get rid of that a little bit. We're going to tone that down. But that's really all I needed to do is mostly to get rid of a couple of those uh, red veins in the eye. So the next thing we're going to do is go up here to the next layer up here, Catch Light, Remove, or Fix Layer. And again, we're going to add our own Catch Light. Uh, it, it will be a snappier Catch Light than the one that you see here naturally. So what we're going to do is click on the pixel part of the layer, the little checkerboard part right here. And we're going to, again, use our clone tool. And I'm going to come in even closer so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And I am going to get rid of any of the catch light. And in this case, I'm actually working on a couple of little, other little reflections that showed up that don't look very good. I want to get rid of any reflections that are showing up in the eye besides the catch light. So I'm just using my clone tool there. I've pretty much gotten rid of everything that existed of the, uh, the real catch light. That's before and that's after. And we're going to create our own catch light a little bit later.